In this video, I'm going to talk about Omnichannel for Customer Service app. Now, this is the app which is uh, which will be mainly used by agents within your organization. So, agents are basically uh, uh, an individual who works on a case, who receives a case from various uh, channels uh, of uh, provided by the uh, say customers, and then. Uh, they uh, collate this information, try to resolve the case on the call itself, and then, you know, uh, they can gracefully uh, store those information within your case management application. Uh, and then based on that, they can generate various knowledge articles or uh, mark the cases as duplicates, or they can do a lot of functionality within this application. Now, uh, the basic things what they can do through this application is like, I'll start from the end. They can view different tables like cases, queues, contacts, accounts, activities. So uh, customer service application uh, you know, involves these primary entities, uh, which allows you to uh, uh, store the backend infrastructure. So these are the cases are the fundamental uh, entity which stores the case related information. Uh, queues allows you to route the cases uh, and then contacts and accounts are the uh, the representative and the organization which raises the case okay and activities are the various activity which you do while resolving the case okay the activities can be involving like emails journaling uh, notes uh, those sort of things now there are other things which you can uh, like an agent can perform as like they can view the routing diagnostics so uh, if there is a routing enabled within your <coughs> organization uh, for case uh, uh, case routing then uh, yes you can see the trace path for how the cases has moved from one uh, channel to another uh, now they can also view historical analytics uh, of omni channel uh, they can manage social profile of the agent uh, manage quick replies okay so they can create a quick replies and then utilize that during the chat uh, conversation uh, and then they can configure knowledge personalization as well uh, and manage the knowledge article so uh, let me go into the next slide and show you how it basically looks so on the left hand side you will see the left pane through which uh, all these options are made visible uh, this is how the interface will look like. This is kind of a tabbed interface whereby you see there's a different, different tabs, which is uh, opened, you know, uh, and then based on the tabs, uh, the windows get rendered. Okay. Now you can individually close uh, all the tabs if you do not want to uh, see those. You can configure all these interfaces in the backend. Okay. So uh, let me uh, show you in live. Uh, interface okay so now as you see over here i'm in the customer service admin center if i click on the title over here then i will be able to see uh, omni channel for customer service application now this x application it says a unified experience for your agents interacting across communication so all the agents should have this particular application role defined okay now if i click here then it will start uh, this uh, application but uh, this application might take a while because it is uh, getting the conversation control it is preparing to receive the notification then it will start loading the presence you know start getting the presence ready uh, and then once it is all done this application is now loaded now this application is basically the front screen for your all your agents now here you can uh, see the teams chat if the teams chat is configured most importantly this is the presence so if you see here green that indicates that you are available to serve the request now okay so this is that presence indicator which is showing that uh, you are available to uh, uh, work on the cases okay so i just clicked on the presence over there so let me go back to the screen uh, okay let me close this And let me uh, open the only channel for customer service admin center as well. Customer service admin center in a separate tab. Okay. Uh, and I'll uh, 
I'll see the presence now I clicked on the presence indicator now you can set different presence like based on your availability if you're busy or if you don't want to be disturbed or if you want to appear away so all those things can be uh, set okay now um, here uh, is the interface how, how you need to navigate is uh, if you click on the sitemap uh, here you will be presented with a menu okay now this is the tabbed interface. So now here you will see ongoing conversation, you will see agent dashboard and all sort of things, okay? Now see there are two tabs over here. Now if I click on say contacts, okay? Now the third tab will open which is contacts. Now if I click on cases over here, uh, then you will see the fourth tab. So this is all tab based interface. So you can navigate through the different tabs and you can uh, work on one case and then you can navigate to different uh, tabs uh, by not just you know like utilizing the browser based tab but then this is a tab within uh, uh, a single tab uh, which is available natively to dynamics 365 customer service omni channel okay now okay now this is the dashboard now this dashboard will show you your work items any open work items any closed work items okay so uh, it will give you all those historical uh, information and closed work items. So if you click on say one of the work item, here you will see that uh, this work uh, item has been like say received by uh, this particular agent and then the agent has worked on it and then there were like a uh, lot of uh, conversations uh, happening between uh, the agent and the the conversation didn't go well and then all those information can be you know like tracked and then you can see how many uh, like duration how long did the conversation take place and what is the current status and which case it is related to so you can see pretty much all information about the case now here uh, accounts contacts are like simple i'll go to social profiles okay so if you go to social profiles here you can uh, set up the social profile view the social profiles for your particular agent okay so currently there's nothing but then you will be able to see all the social profile with regards to various channels like facebook twitter you know uh, wechat line etc uh, personalization so here in personalization here you can set up your own quick replies okay you can set up the sound settings uh, based on the uh, the reply you receive from the chats you can mute the sound you can do a whole bunch of things in this particular uh, settings okay now uh, from omni channel historical analytics here you will be uh, able to see how the things have progressed with regards to queue agent bot topics unified routing okay this is basically a power bi report now this won't load immediately okay this i have configured that's why it is loading for me but then when you start it might take another 30 24 to 48 hours to load okay now uh, this is uh, pretty quick for me because i did work on this uh, for a couple of days and that's why it, it's showing all those information over here okay now uh, going back to uh, let's go into activities okay so if i go to activities here i'll be able to see what all activities has been uh, taken so far uh, during all this engagement now the activities are uh, related to task email appointment phone call letter fax service activity campaign response and there are other activities as well you know so so this is all related to activities which an agent can see uh, cases and queues are simple like this is all related to the fundamental case entity this is the place where agent will go most uh, during the conversation they will be able to see all the cases which has been created and they can navigate into each and every case to see the history behind the case who raised it what went through within the case and how the slas are defined and so on and so forth okay um, now let me go into the menu and then show you knowledge articles knowledge personalization so knowledge articles is about setting up a knowledge article or, or a knowledge base based on uh, some of the functionality or the application which your organization provides so there are a couple of knowledge article which i have created and if i go into the knowledge article i can see the knowledge content i can edit the content i can <coughs> uh, i can uh, put some keywords around the content uh, so that's how I can build this 
uh, content repository for my organization, which will help the agent to resolve the case quicker. Uh, knowledge personalization is all about configuring the knowledge search filters. Uh, and I can configure this uh, very easily over here, you know, just by selecting the pre-selects and deactivation of the uh, drop downs. Uh, routing diagnostics, uh, again, <coughs> let me. So routing diagnostic will show you uh, all information about, uh, you know, uh, how the case are being uh, routed, uh, how does, uh, say, uh, channels, uh, have been working uh, what was the input what was the output whether the routing worked or not now here's if you see here the routing to queue didn't work assignment worked completely and then uh, routing duration took five seconds you know uh, and then how did the prioritization and the assignment selection went so so this is all about omni channel for customer service agent app now uh, i will go through each and every section uh, in depth in the upcoming videos so uh, keep an eye on it. Thank you.